Welcome back to the episode with Paradox the Rapper. The one question that I keep getting lately is how much material do you need to wrap a car? So no matter what car you have, the answer is 60 feet. The wrap comes in five by 60 feet. And on this episode, I'm gonna show you how to cut it out so that the 60 feet roll will do any car that you have. So I don't know about trucks. If you have a truck, you're on your own and you gotta measure, okay? Just measure it out and then add about five feet. Um, or 10 feet just to be conservative and that's kind of what you need um, as far as cars if you do it right 60 feet will do your whole car and then you have about mm, eight to nine feet left over um, in case you mess up okay so on this episode we're gonna go through how to set up the cuts and make sure that you have enough and that you're not short the main thing that you need to do is make sure you do the sides the front and the back first and then if you mess up you can always run the hood and the roof and the trunk in carbon fiber or black so stay tuned for this one this episode is brought to you by paradox wraps of course we're only wrapping in my colors from now on and this is one of the paradox wraps colors so we'll go over the details of how to do it and then we'll have a closer look at what this color looks like so stay tuned What's up, bro? What's up? Come here with mismatching rims? Yeah, the other one's the uh, tires blew out. Tires blew out? So I had to put a uh, stockings on for now. Why, you getting them hot out there on the streets? Yeah, it was already on wires when they popped in the street on me. <laughs> okay, let's check out this ride. Give me a second, I'm close the gate. We got the whole gang here. Bro, you rolling hella deep. Yeah. These all your friends? Yeah. What's up, guys? What's up? What's up? What's Say hello to the channel. Yeah. Okay, so you have... What, what is this? CTSV. CTSV. Yeah. This is my yeah. first time doing a caddy. So that's cool that you removed all the uh, the door trimmings for me. We're wrapping those, right? Yeah, we got them inside. Okay, so tell me about your CTSV. Is this stuff fast or well, how are these cars? I've been wanting one though, so that's why I was looking to get one. I found this one. Uh -huh. but, how fast uh, is it? I don't really know, it's pretty, it's all right. What's it got under the hood? Uh, it has an LS6. I wanted the LS2 one, but I couldn't find it. Is the LS2 one better? Uh, it's, well, it's a 6.0 and this one's a 5.7. Okay. But uh, people say it's, it makes the same horsepower, but I don't know if that's true. How much? Uh, 400. Ooh, guys, there it is. You're going to be the first one in this particular color. This is satin, right? Yeah. So this is Mike Mike's color. But in gloss on. But in satin. He got it in gloss. Look at that. So this is a Paradox Wraps color. You guys can get this on my Paradox Wraps Instagram page. DM me, text me, I'll hook you up. So what'd you, why'd you pick this one? I've been wanting the pearl white. Okay. I feel like that's, a, that's like the best color I've ever You do really realize this is a little pink, right? Yeah, I've seen it, but it kind of changes to the... Yeah, it looks like inside yeah. of a shell. Yeah. <laughs> All right, cool. We'll do it. You gotta measure it out, your longest point. So right here, give yourself two inch lead. Give yourself two inch lead right here. So we're about 53 inches this way. <clears throat> give yourself two inch lead up here and two down here. So we're a little short at 31 or 32 inches. That's fine. You can make that stretch and cut. I'm gonna show you how to cut this side and that side to use one piece okay the only danger about doing this is that if it's a directional film <clears throat> you're gonna want to do the whole thing unless you match up the other side to make it work so if this is a directional film you're gonna want to just roll out from here all the way to the back just to be safe if you're new to it okay fender piece 52 inches Right here, we're gonna make a mark and then do a line all the way down. Then we're gonna make a mark at 30 inches. Since my material doesn't have a liner or a, a pattern, 
Since it doesn't have a pattern, I'm just gonna draw 30 inches like this. Okay. Doesn't need to be exact. We're gonna cut it out. Okay, I'm just gonna cut this piece a little bit above the line where I marked. You always wanna cut a little extra. And then this is the tricky part right here. I'm gonna make an S cut. So my 30 inch mark is right here in the middle. Um, since that thing is a little longer than 30 inches, I'm gonna go right here past the middle about three inches or four inches and I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna swerve it in the middle and come down into an S shape like this. So we'll put this piece aside. I'll show you guys the S shape. See here, this is kind of like an S shape cut. See, when you cut it like that, and you put it up here at the edge, it covers a part that you need all the way down. Okay, that way you don't have to make a stretch. That's why you cut the S shape. Now we're going to cut out this wheel well um, all the way up to here. You want to leave yourself a little bit of extra, about an inch. So just wherever the rim is, just cut where the rim is. Don't cut where the tire is. And you should be good to start wrapping the fender. set up you just gotta squeegee this
Okay, here you go. Here's how you cut out the quarter panel on any car. Okay, so it doesn't matter what car it is, 60 feet will do the whole car if you do it this way. So what you want is to have about a foot of lead when you're doing a four door. If you're doing a two door, then it can go down to about, you know, half a feet. Um, and here's why, okay? So when you roll out the piece, you wanna cut out the very top portion. You take the bottom of the, of the material roll and then you make sure that it covers your door. Then you go up top and then you cut out 11 inches or so to do your side skirts. Back here, you can see how the end of the quarter panel is at the 132 inch mark or 11 feet, okay? You wanna cut a little bit extra at 33 inch or 133 inch just in case. So after you cut out your big piece up top, that's 11 inches wide, you have the rest of it like a square like this. Don't worry about making this angle of a cut, just cut it straight across enough so that it covers your whole quarter panel thing, quarter panel thing right here. And you can always heat it and bend it down this way, okay? That way you have enough material to do your door. Okay, so you cut this out, about two inches of lead or so, and then you just go like this all the way down and then down to there, okay? Now, because you did that, you have this much material and it's short right here. You take the whole piece and you move it back so that it covers about one or two inches of lead this way. And then you go over here and then you cut this. Now you cut out the back door and then everything else should be, then everything else should be able to be moved backwards a little bit more and it'd be perfectly enough for you to do this door. So that way you maximize the material and the whole giant piece will do the quarter panel and both doors. Okay, that's how you do it.
Okay guys, we're back after like four months. How long you have your car here? It's about to be two months next week. Oh, it's only two months? Yeah. I feel like I had it for a long time. This this guy, <laughs> that's what happens when you're not on the schedule. So, <laughs> he brought it off schedule, so, and then I went to the hospital, so um, finally it's done. You, yeah. you excited to see this? Yeah. All right, he actually did his truck way back there in the same color. 
So we'll check that out after this. How he, see how he did doing it by, um, what, did you watch my videos and do it? Yeah. Okay. My videos, yeah. All right. Well, let's compare your job versus mine. All right. <laughs> okay, let's go. Unfortunately, it's been so long since I've done this car, I lost the footage of his reaction to picking up this car. But as you can see here, it looks beautiful and he loves it. did his own truck with my material as well so he did a pretty good job there's some you know spots here and there I'm not gonna call him out on it but overall it looks really good for a first timer so he's got an SUV he's gonna do it too but look at this guy matching his truck to his Cadillac and his SUV what crazy 